who else should I have on my podcast? Well, you know, we, we talked about Jet. Uh, I think Jet's doing some neat things with technology. I would love to have Jet McCandless on. We've exchanged emails about it lately. but Jet and I are, are good friends. We go back many years, and uh, I watched him start that company and have a lot of success. He's done all right. I'm proud of what he's done. So uh, I think Jet would be a good candidate. Excellent. I will, I will reach out to Jet and tell him, Doug said you should be on my podcast. Not just Joe, Doug said. <laughs> So and, uh, I, I also have to tell you, you know, we, we work, I got, I'm throwing out another name. You, you ask for one, I'll give you two. Uh, but uh, I was down in South America two weeks ago with uh, Lean Solutions with Robert Kadena. And, and uh, I was really impressed, you know, with his operation. We have about 300 employees down there and probably take it to 600 before too long. But uh, very impressed with uh, the quality of people that they hire how they train them, the facilities, uh, and just the whole way that he's built that company. I, I've actually known Robert for 12 years since before he started Lean. In fact, he, he was used to run a little brokerage and I tried to buy it. That's how I first met him. <laughs> you would have gotten a good man there. Yeah, that, that's kind of fresh on my mind because like I said, I was down in, in uh, Columbia for a week uh, touring the various locations as well as our own operation and, and I'm real impressed by what they've done. I got to tell you, um, I think they have 8,000 employees in Colombia. They're up to 9,000. Uh, back in February, I believe they were at 7,000. And since February, they've grown to 9,000. Yep. And by the way, this podcast is uh, edited and produced by uh, Natalie from Lean <laughs> Solutions Group. So I work with Lean and I, I love working with Natalie. I love working with Lean, but also... Um, I've said this before on my podcast when I interviewed Robert, um, talked about this is back in the 80s, which I remember I was alive then. In the 80s, we started putting back office stuff, a lot of financial stuff in Ireland. And then we started putting tech stuff in Ireland. And it was because they were making $25,000 with MBAs over there. So it was a fantastic deal. And now look at Ireland. It is a tech center. It is a financial center. With companies leave here and move to Ireland because of because there's an uh, opportunities to save on taxes, but also they have that infrastructure. And then we're going to see the same thing with Lean. So it starts off as well, we can save some money by do outsourcing, but as soon you realize the expertise is growing there, and it's far far more than just a cost savings. It's who you want to work with. Well. I there's a lot of things I like about it. You know, they're they're on a central time zone. I guess this time of year they're on an east. No, they're the same exact same time zone today. I know because Natalie Natalie's sometimes behind me. <laughs> I was working with one of their people down there, and I asked her where she was. Her English was impeccable, you know, and I there was no hint of an accent. And I, I said, w "Where are you from?" And she said, "Barranquilla." And I said, "Yeah, but you spent time in the U.S., right?" And she says, "No, I've never been there." I said, are you serious? Her, uh, her, her English was so good. And I said, I would have guessed you're from Kansas. And, and she left. Uh, but, but all of the employees uh, are well-educated, great uh, attitudes and great culture. And by the way, when I did interview for the, um, when I hired Natalie, when I interviewed three people, each one of them had lived in the U.S. And each one... Um, was impressive. I mean, I had a choice, by the way, like within two weeks, here's three people who you can interview. And by the way, somebody just reached out to me and said, Hey, I, I, Joe, who, who would you hire for content creation? And I was like, lean. And it's funny. They go, well, how will I interact with them? I was like, just like you would interact with me on the, with, on, on teams or zoom. It's, it's too easy. <laughs> so I will definitely see if I can't get Robert to come back on my podcast. I know he's a, a busy man like you, but I hopefully get him on and hopefully get Jet too. I'd love to interview both of them. 